What's up, Huddens? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're going to be checking out the new aftermarket part available for completing five of the week four weekly challenges. This one is going to be for the RAL or RAL MG LMG from MW2, and it is known as the Jack Protean Kit. Now, the thing about this one is it is going to increase or help damage range, bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and limb damage, but the negatives are going to be towards the headshot damage, Decrease in fire rate, sprint to fire speed, hip fire and tack stance spread, and we cannot use the barrel or under barrel attachments. Now, I did use this somewhat recently, so we're going to have a little bit of an idea of how this is going to function. It is overall an extremely slow weapon, and let me go ahead and pop the things that I brought in that we want to start with, and let's go ahead and grab this tier one bounty here just to get our backup self. I also just want to see how this thing does off the rip. The decrease to damage to the head is actually a huge negative for zombies because usually that's where you aim and try to, you know, capitalize on the crit damage. So we're not going to be doing nearly as much damage as probably we were doing with this without the aftermarket part, which could kind of completely cancel out the reason to use it. But we're going to find out in this run. So the first step, of course, is going to be going over here and taking on our Mimic. And we are going to be progressing as, you know, as much as possible here. So if we have to go to the purple tool before completing our tier two bounty, we will do so. But outside of that, we will just knock this guy out real quick. I need to find, I always hate finding the stairs in this building. Find the stairs. I'm going to go ahead and keep my camo before we pack one. But basically I'm going to pack one here. We're going to take this guy out. Then we're going to head into tier two and we're going to try to take out another bounty over there before using our epic tool but if we have to upgrade because the weapon isn't doing enough damage ahead of time we will do so i just enjoy personally progressing you know throughout the run instead of just souping it up pack three legendary going into tier three and just seeing what's possible let's go ahead and get our guy out here he's probably on the second floor the other thing too with this is the barrel allows you to switch between single fire and full auto i don't know if you're going to want to take full advantage of single fire or that that barrel attachment let's try single fire first i mean it does have a fire rate cap can't shoot it any faster than that i mean we took it out pretty quickly three pack two crystal and a backup self what in the heck is that that's some crazy luck imagine we were doing a zero to hero run or something that would be kind of wild having a pack two crystal out of our first contract but we knocked out bounty number one we are actually in the worst part of the map that we can be in I'm probably going to make my way to the other side, and then we will continue this journey. So far, so good. At least the single fire wasn't too bad there. We were able to take that out quickly, but again, we are pack punch level one. I think the full auto is definitely going to be the way to go, but you never know. Maybe it'll be able to do enough damage fast enough in single fire to keep up with the zombies, but probably not going to happen when we reach tier three. Okay, here we go, flying into tier two. And I don't want to forget to let you all know if you guys are interested in the load on and running in today's video, as you would like to try this aftermarket part out for yourself using what I was rocking, check the pinned comment down below where I'm always sure to share the attachments for easy access. Now, unfortunately, we got a disciple here, so I'm not really sure what to expect. The unfortunate thing with this weapon is that you are so dang slow when you try to move around the map that you pretty much are forced to run with your fists. I'm still rocking this in single fire. It, that's not bad. I mean, it's three bullets to kill a zombie that's armored, right? For a pack one non... I don't know. This might actually be kind of good. I guess we'll see how it does against this. The full auto could be really good as well. We need to try a little bit of both, but maybe we'll... We'll wait and see what happens here. We're going to do multiple tier two bounties, so we can always switch it around if we need. I mean, the fire rate's not crazy, but the, the big benefit is you have the, the huge mag. Chris, oh God. Everybody's blocking the doors. The one thing I just don't need them to be doing. Oh, no, another disciple. Hello? Like what? You never find these things when you need them, but here they are now. Dude, there are so many zombies. Slow down, bro. Okay. Might have to pull out the full auto. We'll see. Let me reload. Try the full auto out. All right. Okay. Um. I don't know. Definitely think the 
Single fire might be better. Like, for sure. It just doesn't help I got double disciples. Come on. Reload, reload. Everybody get together over there. Need to get this energy mine. Alright, alright. No, I don't, even, I don't think we're doing anything to this. I don't think we're doing anything to this this guy. Okay, so... Yeah, look at, I think it's definitely stronger in single fire. By, like, quite a bit. So that's good to discover. If I get rid of this disciple, second one... Yeah, we definitely gotta... Hold on. We're gonna have to go ahead and do purple tool. I was trying to avoid it, but this is going to be a little bit too ridiculous. All right, purple tool. Now we're probably in business. Not really. Problem is, I got to get rid of this other one. There we go. I mean, your finger is going to get tired using this, but hey, this is what it's for, probably. Look at how low the recoil is. Definitely don't think the full auto is better, but it's hard. It's really hard to tell. And you're gonna save a lot of ammo if this, you know, this is in single fire. Well, we got through it. It was a lot more painful than I anticipated it was going to be, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. What is this? Brain rot? I guess we'll hold on to a brain rot. Why not? Okay, so that was the hardest bounty you can probably get in in tier two. We were able to make it happen. I still am having a hard time deciding if the single fire is better. Let's try. This is how we can find out. Well, there's too many zombies chasing me now. Uh, can I one tap? One tap him in the head. Come on. Broke his. It broke his armor. Yeah, we have too many zombies chasing us. I wanted one zombie. Of course, I get 15. Like half the zones chasing me right now. Uh huh. I don't think I hit that zombie in the head. Okay, I'm one-tapping the zombie in that case. All right, let's switch to full. They're so, f look how fast they are. They just, like, catch up to me so fast. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we hit that zombie in the head, and it did, like, let's say 40% of its health bar. Yep, same thing, about 40% of its health bar. But if you swap to single fire, I know this is kind of silly. You can actually one-tap the zombie that doesn't have armor. And you two-tap a zombie that does have armor. I think that's correct. It's so hard to do it with so many of them chasing me. Get away from me. Oh my. And then, of course, I end up killing them all. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's significantly stronger in, stronger in single fire, which does make sense. I'm going to try this again. This zombie's not moving. Instantly vaporized. Like 40% of the health. 30% of the health. Something like that. So it definitely makes a huge difference swapping it into semi-auto. Now, obviously, you're going to be able to shoot significantly faster, but you're going to have way less recoil, and the shots are going to hit harder in single fire, which I'm sure is the case for a lot of weapons that have that option, right? In some cases, people want to swap the single fires to full auto. This might be the case where you just switch the full auto to the single fire in order to take the most advantage of the specific weapon using this conversion kit. All right, we got to mimic this time. This should be interesting. Go ahead and reload our weapon. 150 rounds also for a weapon you're shooting in semi-auto is insane. Granted, you are limited on your rate of fire. And I still think it's actually kind of fun. Again, not one of the better. I Probably better off without using an aftermarket part on this, but can you even beat the low recoil of this? That's kind of crazy. There's a mangler. We're going to actually fry this mangler. Let's see how we do against our mimic here. That's what I'm really curious to see. Like, look at that. One shot. This thing's pack one. I mean, we are purple, but pack one purple? That's pretty crazy for, for that. I mean, we still have a lot of upgrading left to do. Get this mangler out of here. There we go. I mean, it's not super hard to keep up with the rate of fire. Like, I'm not going to completely wear my finger out doing this either, which is great. 
But I also don't know if it's going to be a bad thing, right? Like, is semi-auto really going to be worth it with the rate of fire that we're limited to? All right, where are you at, Mimic? I'm surprised you didn't come out and start beaming me with your, your orb. Be here somewhere. There we go. There we go. Now that's the Mimic I know. Okay, we're in semi-auto. Go. We have so much ammo to work with, it's kind of funny. The best semi-auto weapon, or what? Could be. Just go ahead and full send it, right? There we go. Made it through. Dead shot, purple tool, W. We, uh... Got the purple tool back that we already used in this match. All right. This might be the time to go pack a bunch to level two. Would we get the disciple? That was going to be an interesting comparison. Directly this. Bro, you're like magnet. You're like a magnet. Just whacking me. It's the only thing about this, this weapon that's always going to be the big negative. You are so dang slow. No matter what's going on. Okay, so let's see. Pack a bunch level two now. Boom. There we go. Let's hit this thing. We'll take it over to, what is it, the Disciple? Where is this Disciple? I don't know if I've gotten a Disciple at this location before, but we're going to check it out. And we are still in semi-auto, because I feel like that's the way, right? Then we'll fly over here. Maybe I have gotten this Disciple once or twice. Pretty rare, though. Semi-auto could be the way. Obviously, with full auto, you're going to be able to fire faster, but you're going to do less damage and... Gonna go through the bullets significantly faster. So I almost feel like for something like an LMG that reloads as slow as it does, this is kind of a W to a certain extent. I could just hit straight up crits the whole time. It'd be insane, but I'm missing too many crits. This is going pretty smoothly though. Look at that. Not bad. Wasn't the fastest we've ever gone through, but it's doable. It is easy to aim in one spot and just fire away. Okay, got that guy out of here. Um, what do we want to do? Let's go over to the Mega Abomination. Let's see how, how it does against that. We could even do two, like, bridge ones and see if there's a difference in how fast we take them down between full auto and semi-auto. I do think, however, the semi-auto is just going to be superior. All right, our first Mega Abomination is here. All right, come on this way, buddy. I got freaking hell out and caught up quick. Go ahead and reload. Yeah, you moved atrociously slow. Okay, though. All right, that wasn't too bad. Come on, Mega. Get up on this spot. Go that over there just in case. We can stand in between the lasers here. Hopefully I can fight two of these back to back and we can directly compare how, how it goes, but... Okay, second face is gone. The funny thing is, you don't even need to really, like, reload. Just hang out here. Oh, I'm getting... How many of those just exploded on me? How come none of them are visible? Because they're underneath. Are they underneath? That's dumb. If that's the case. I think they were underneath. Okay, come on. Oh, our Mega Bomb just disappeared. Oh, that's so stupid. If those guys didn't shock me through the ground, I wouldn't have had this problem. Okay, another one spawned in almost immediately after coming back over here, so we'll be able to try it again. Only problem is I just don't have any plates. All right, let's see if we can cause some big damage pretty quickly. Wow, that one actually exploded pretty fast. Okay, it's just gonna start shooting. Okay, we destroy the second one. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and reload.
Oh, I'm gonna go down for sure. Couldn't either had no way to dodge that. No plates, nothing. Unfortunate. Come on. Plate, plate up. My guy's just so slow. Normally you can move to the side and it dodges half the damage, but it wasn't it's not working because it's gun so slow. Unfortunately. He's hitting me through the wall. Like straight up. Okay, there we go. Okay, we barely barely took him out there without going down. A little risky, but it was worth it. Another purple tool and a napalm. Okay, so now I just need to get a couple plates so I can actually defend myself. And then we can try a full auto. All right, we made it back and we get to fight another mega abomination. We are ready for it too. Lee keeps coming this way. Doing the full auto time attempt this time. Don't think it's going to be nearly as successful, but could be wrong. We're going to find out right here. Can confirm. Already not as good. We would have destroyed that face so much faster in semi-auto. Okay. It's alright though. We'll give it a full attempt. We'll give it a full attempt. I wasn't trying to mount there. I mean, the nice part is, it is full auto, right? So, that is the good news. Okay, get through that. Go and reload. Yeah, this is definitely not ideal. Semi-auto being the better option for this is good and bad. I'm gonna throw that down. I'm kind of sick of all the stuff shooting at me. Come on, where's the second face break? Oh, this thing is it's just struggling. Could be right there. There we go. I think I got a bunch of plates because we're gonna need them for this. Slam into the wall, buddy. Thanks. Yep. And now we're going to try to finish you off. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Are you going to laser? Are you just going to... What is going on here? Okay, I guess we'll just stand here and shoot you. Yeah, nope. Definitely the semi-auto. Semi 100%. Not even close. Definitely feel like we would have killed this twice by now. Almost. Look at this. There we go. Finally. What is this? A Wonder Waff case. Doesn't happen every day. And then a blue tool. Okay, let's go into the high threat zone for the rest of this match here. This thing is about as expected. The fact that it is better in semi-auto, like I was saying, is kind of good and bad. It's cool because you're not going to go through ammo quite as fast. It's unfortunate because you're going to have a limited rate of fire. And once we hit this zone, things are just going to get significantly more difficult because... This zone is all about moving and being fast, and that is the opposite of what this weapon provides. I'm going to go over here and buy these perks, and then we'll see if the triangle is available. Why not grab it if, if we can, right? Look how slow I am with the gun out running. It's actually kind of insane. And then you swap to fist, and you'll immediately notice. Look at that. Zoom, 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 zoom. Is it here? It is not. I wonder if there in, any of them are available. Let's go see if we can get this. We might have to go pack a punch level three, like pretty close to immediately here. Because it kind of depends. But let's go ahead and at least try to go grab this and see what we get. And also just make sure there's not any other ones over here. I'm pretty sure people would have gotten all of them. Oh, wait. Nope. Yep. Never mind. I disappeared. I saw it for like a millisecond. It was kind of a juke. It's not actually there. Nope, not one there. Is there one in the last spot over here? Shouldn't take me very long to find out. We hate having to get chased like crazy. Yep, they're all gone. Okay. Exactly what I expected. Uh-huh. Everything's going to attack me. Wish the decoys were still as good as they were before. Holy smokes, that's a lot of stuff. All right, let's get up here. Hurry up. Climb faster. And then let's see if we can get our reload in real quick. That'll put us at 150. Then we gotta wait up here because there's a lot of stuff coming. I wanna make sure I clear this stuff out. 
Yeah, this is the limitation here. Like, this is the hard part. I don't know why I always get to tier 3 in, in this portion of the match, and it almost always has lag. I could be fine the entirety of the match, which we have been. Yeah, we might need to get that pack 3 ASAP. I mean, it's keeping up, but barely. Barely keeping up. And this is a good a little chance to see how good it actually works. It's crazy, though, because we definitely proved the full auto was not as good. I'm going to reload, I guess, since it's going to make me. And then we'll grab our ammo, and let's dip over to our Mega Bomb. Where is Pack-A-Punch, by the way? It's all the way on the opposite side. I kind of want to get Pack-3. Since it's so far away, we have to trek all the way back over here. And then we'll save Legendary for after. Normally, I try to do Pack-2 purple. But I feel like that's going to be a bit of a challenge. And only because it's so far away, I want to just knock this out. I could fly over here right now, get Pack-3. I know it'd be nice to have pack two, but I think I think we're gonna regret with this weapon specifically, just based on how slow it is, not getting pack three before going over to this bounty. So we're gonna do it. Boom. One thing is absolutely for certain when it comes to this this weapon, it is a no secondary ever type of weapon. Unless you're running with a VR11, which is gonna allow you great movement speed, this is one you absolutely need your fist as your secondary because you will not be moving fast. Let's go ahead and I have a lot of zombies already, but I need to get dude's attention. I'm going to throw that. I need to start working. And this guy needs to start coming this direction. While the zombies are going that way. Then I need to pull, time my thing. He's still moving over here. Good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. I had to get, I'm trying to get as many of them taken out as possible. Yeah, this thing is crazy. I mean, you won't... Again, you won't have to get... Be reloading a lot with it. You won't have to deal with that, but you will be... You will feel very slow. And if your zombies don't line up, it kind of sucks too. Go ahead and reload. My 150 rounds back in. Okay, one face destroyed. Wasn't bad. I wish I could have focused on it a little bit, e a little bit easier. That's not dude's not lasering, so that's good. It's like ridiculous. You feel like you have infinite bullets with this thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and I was gonna reload. But I'm gonna cancel. Second face down. I mean, it, it's cooking the mega bomb. It's unfortunate that weapons like this are so dang slow because I'm finding positives. I just don't know if they outweigh the negatives. And I honestly, there is probably weapons that you would rather use that would do the job and move, allow you to move significantly faster. But hey, it definitely did the job, at least in this case. All metal pop. Why not hold on to it? We got the space for it. Go ahead and reload real quick as well. Get everything situated. I mean, it is definitely capable of at least doing that, which is great. All right, let's go over and try. Maybe we grab this. We'll, we could see how we do against the Outlast. And then we can do a legendary tool to finish up the match. Yeah, I don't know what it is with tier three. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have noticed more issues with it, whether it's stuttering, packet loss, latency, whatever. But I've noticed specifically when it comes to this zone, it happens more often. I don't know what, what the deal is with that. Oh, come on. I had that. I had that. This is the one thing I hate. Oh, I'm going to get smoked here. Holy crap. Like what? It's like 0 to 100 so fast. Yo, I have a decoy running. Can we use that? Jesus. Bro, I heard the sound of my... What is going on over here? Nope. I'm around the corner. Thank you. What in the hell just happened right there? I actually just got attacked, like, for sure. Very insane. Okay. 
Whew. I don't know what the heck was going on with that, but wasn't having fun there. I actually was able to activate it first try. I really do need some plates, though. None of that means anything unless I can get a plate. 100% chance of not getting plates dropped. That's so dumb. Help me out, game. I know you're not giving me armored zombies, but there we go. Oh, and then what spawns in? A hellhound. Yeah, like you just moved so dang slow. You got to be pretty much ads aiming in the right direction. And that's about it. Like, there's not much else you can do. I might as well reload. Luckily, the brain rotter helped me out a bit. Yeah, everything about it is slow. That is thing that you can count on. We got our energy mine again, which is a W. Get rid of this stupid hellhound. Come on, drop me some plates, guys. The zombies just like do not react to the decoys. It takes too long. Okay. And we got through that. Nice. It's only have 25 bullets here, so that's kind of lame. I hate that completing contracts now does not guarantee you. Like, I can't even reload. Bro. Bro, I can't even reload. Like, let me reload my gun. I still can't even get my rewards. Reload the gun. Thank you. All right, nuke these guys, finally. It's like, I really wish that we could clear house so I could grab my rewards for 10 seconds before continuing to allow me to fight. I mean, they, they expect you to fight to death at all, at all points in Tier 3 now, which is crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop our legendary tool. We can do that. Boom. And let's head over to this other bounty. Let's just see what we can knock out for the remainder of this. One thing is for certain, whether or not this is a lot of fun to use, it is extremely slow, which is going to make it hard to be a top option or even a viable option for Tier 3 or any of the harder content in this game. Even with a decent amount of damage, right? Like that's not even the entirety of... What is required to find success? I guess I'm gonna have to grab these decoys because I don't want to get chased the whole time. And we got another disciple. We're just gonna run to the bounty, get this thing activated. These guys are all just existing to try to slow me down. Okay, here we go. Here's the whole zone coming up the stairs. Yeah, this thing cannot keep up, barely. Like. Especially when you get this many. Like, holy. Well, it was enough. And that situation was barely enough. I don't think we, if we didn't get the brain rotter there, we'd probably have been in a little bit of trouble. All right, so let's run, run as fast as we can. Oh, we got the mimic. Well, at least this one will be a little bit of fun. Go ahead and get our reload in, because that's going to be important. I might actually just climb up on this building and fly over because it'll save me a significant amount of time. Come on, plate, plate. I don't know what my guy's doing. It's like my guy was just not willing to uh, do the plate animation. And we flew pretty far down. I think we can get up on the gas station here for sure. Get off me, hellhound. As soon as I shoot a hellhound, there's already another one biting me. Beautiful. Throw this. Get everybody away from me. Get the whole horde out of here, because I don't know how we're creating such a large group of zombies chasing me. But we definitely have one. Look at that. Beautiful group. Let's see how we do here against them all. All the good news, they're all dying instantly. This is the one positive when they all spawn into one place. And you have such a large mag, you can just take them all out. Should be plenty of plates and stuff. Okay, where's our guy at? Should be able to shoot at him across the way. I hit him. 
I don't know if he started moving immediately. Oh, right, there he is. Okay, I guess everybody's still coming up here. Man. Can I get some peace here for like a second? Fun reload. I don't think dude's coming out. Might have to go get him. I didn't want to have to go get him, but he's not coming out. I think it's coming out now. I don't know if this is going to be too far away, but we're going to find out. Find out together. Run, run, run. Jump up. I put as much distance as I can over here. Here we go. Oh my god, you're so incredibly slow with this thing. It's insane. Well, you want to know the fastest way to get yourself killed? Jump on top of that where he's not going to come. He might turn around. I got to hurry. There we got him. W. Definitely, definitely slow. We, uh... We're definitely going to struggle with most things. Like, look at, look at this. If you're just running with the weapon out, like, you feel insane. And you, as soon as you swap, zooming. You're just zooming. All right, where are our Xfills? We have an Xfill here. Our Xfills are all over. Kind of far. I guess I'm going to go over to the Tier 2 Xfill. I'll make my way to the tower and just fly over. I would have to say that although this thing has been fun, like I was saying, it is kind of cool to have such a large magazine for a semi-automatic weapon. And for a semi-automatic weapon, being an LMG for that matter, to exist, I think is kind of a cool idea as well. But overall, when it comes to the high threat zone, one of the main things you need is mobility. And this thing has pretty much none of that. So I think when it comes to coming to this zone intentionally to try to find success, this is not the direction that you're going to want to head in. So you're probably going to be better off using something else. And you might even be better off using this weapon without the aftermarket part. Just for the simple fact that you might be able to have a little bit more success not having to continually keep up with the single fire version of this. Because definitely in full auto, with this aftermarket part, it tends to struggle a little bit. And probably more than, than you would want it to. For sure. Let me go ahead and try to help this guy up. I literally... Did I throw a decoy or not? What the hell? I th These decoys are just horrible. Let's go ahead and get that. Get the nuke. This dude got up. Nuke came in in perfect time. Our x fill is here. I mean, there probably was more we could have pulled off, but I don't really think there's much else to showcase for this weapon. I mean, the reality is you will be able to do some decent damage in semi-auto. You're going to struggle tremendously probably in full auto. And I think overall it's just way too slow. But we did make it here. We did survive. We were able to take on all the challenges. Hopefully everybody can get in safely. Looks like we were having a bit of a struggle. Now, if you guys are interested, make sure you check the pinned comment for the loadout I ran in this one. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Another LMG, another aftermarket part, probably still not going to be viable in high threat. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace!